guys, Jason with Ready Set Reload here. Today we're going to go out and shoot some 9mm. We're also going to go shoot some uh, 300 Blackout. Now, both of these calibers I recently uh, developed some load, uh, loads for, so I'm going to post that on my website. I'll put a link on this bottom of this video and link to that load data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot uh, three different types of rounds through each weapon. Uh, the first uh, type of ammo that I'm going to shoot is factory supersonic loads. The next one I'm going to shoot is the subsonic loads uh, that I created for each weapon. I'm going to shoot them through my suppressor and without uh, without shooting it through my suppressor. So suppressor off. Uh, the suppressor that I'm going to use today is a Octane 9. So um, I'm also what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to attempt to record the decibel so you can see the difference between uh, supersonic, subsonic, and then subsonic suppressed is uh, out of each, for each caliber. Uh, only problem is uh, I don't have a professional decibel reader, so I had to download an app on my iPhone. I don't know how well it's going to work. Hopefully it works good enough where we can at least see the difference between the uh, suppressed and not suppressed uh, via the numbers. Maybe the numbers aren't correct, but at least we'll be able to see the delta there. So uh, let's get to it, and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. 125 grain, 300 blackout, unsuppressed. Two hundred twenty grain, three hundred blackout, unsuppressed. Ninety six. Two hundred twenty grain, three hundred blackouts suppressed. Seventy six. Eighty two. Eighty-four. Quick interruption. I'm getting some jams on my 300 blackout reloads. Um, I think it's due to the 8-inch barrel. It's maybe with the buffer or weight or the spring. I'm not too sure. i got to do some research on it. If anybody has any ideas, leave, leave some suggestions in the comments. But uh, 
this is happening with the factory ammo too, so I know it's not just because it's subsonic versus supersonic. All right, we got nine millimeter. I'm not sure what grain, but I'll put it in the video. In the, at the end of the video, so you check it out there. Ninety-nine. One hundred three. One hundred two. Ninety-eight. One hundred two. Hundred. One hundred one. Ninety six. Ninety nine. One hundred one. Hundred forty seven grain. Nine millimeter. Unspressed. Hundred. Ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Ninety three. Ninety five. Ninety three. Ninety seven. Ninety eight. Hundred forty seven grain, nine millimeter, suppressed. Eighty eight. Seventy-five, ninety-one, eighty-eight. 91, I'm going to intentionally fire this one into the sand, 77, 89, 88, 86, Sand. Eighty. Eighty-one. Hey guys, so yeah, that app that reads decibels from your iPhone, that doesn't work very good. I'm guessing it's one of two reasons why it didn't work out very good. Maybe one, the microphone on the uh, phone itself. Two, possibly the the sample rate that is trying to test the decibels. I don't know if it's every second or every 20 milliseconds or what, but um, yeah, it's not going to work. So I'm going to need to come up with a different solution in the future. But I can tell you that the Octane 9 on the on the CZ75 that's uh, that's very very quiet. The gong, the bullet hit in the gong is actually louder. And the gun cycling itself. 300 blackout with that Octane 9 on there. It's pretty quiet. It's definitely, both of them are definitely hearing safe, but uh, uh, a lot more gets suppressed on the 9mm versus the 300 blackout. And, I mean, I would guess that since that Octane 9 is meant for 9mm. So, hope you liked the video, and again, uh, please don't forget to subscribe.